Hello loves, my name is Zach. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you guys stopped by and I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial that I did as my new intro into YouTube. Just thought I'd bring like a little quick slay to you guys. Um, I know seeing me just as one video is not enough. So why don't you just go ahead and follow my Instagram and Snapchat, both are World of Zach. And just be notified that there are gonna be a lot more videos and this is only the beginning. Only the beginning, there's so much more. So much more I have in store for you guys. Alright love, so first things first, I'm gonna take my Carmix, which is my favorite liquid conditioner ever. This stuff is so bomb. I love it. Then I'm gonna take my Benefit Professional Primer, which is great because it gives me a nice matte finish and has a really nice liquidy gel consistency, which is creates a great base for all the makeup that we're putting on and creates that nice barrier protection for your skin. After that, I'm gonna move on to my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pore Powder, which you see right there, and I'm just gonna slap that all over my face. Literally. Slap, slap, slap all over your face. I love this stuff so much because it creates like a nice airbrush finish for your skin. You can wear it with or without foundation. Then we're going to go on the brows using the Benefit of Brow in shade number 5. And I like to take light strokes starting from the base of my brow and moving up and just lightly stroking it through there. Giving you nice, even coverage and just about to complete that brow. Yes, girl. Get it. So as you can see here, I'm just taking my spoolie and I'm going to run that product through my brows just to get a nice even distribution, girl, yes. Then once I'm done with that, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze and just outline my eyebrows. I don't like to take a lighter concealer on the top or the bottom just so I don't have that Instagram look from about two years ago, which everybody know they go to because I know what's good to too, girl. It's okay. And I like to blend that out with my flat concealer brush just to get a nice even distribution and just blend it all out to make it look as natural as possible while sculpting these brows girl yes and as you can see my brows are definitely sisters and not twins then i'm going to go in with my concealer and just pat that in with my ring finger since the ring finger is best for applying concealer and blending that stuff out because it uses less intensity which is great because you don't want to tug on your lids and create more wrinkles and as you see here, I'm going in with my Juvia's Place, the Masquerade Palette, and I'm going to dive into that shade Burkina first to just apply that all over my eyelid to create a nice base for blending out those shadows later on because with the cream, you always want to set it with the powder, girl. Then as you see here, I'm going to take the shade Ada, and that shade is a really nice, like, brick red brown color, which I love to add in a crease because it just adds a little bit of depth. And I'm going to take a random brush that I got from my Ipsy Glam Bag. I love it. As you see here, I'm just going back and forth throughout my crease, using my wrist to just move that brush back and forth. It's all in the flick of the wrist. Flick of the flick of the wrist. I'm sorry, I had to. Then you see I'm just going back in with that same color just to add more depth with it. Because you always want to go from light to dark. Always. It's the best way to do it. If you go from dark to light, you're kind of just setting yourself for a headache. And you don't want to do that. Nobody wants headaches around here. We just want to slay all day, right? Right. So you see I'm just continually blending that color and I'm focused on the outer corner right now. Then I take my Morphe E30 brush with no shadow on it just to blend it all together nice and seamlessly. Then I'm going to dive into the shade Calabar from the same palette and I'm going to place that color right along my lid but not taking it too high up. I'm going to keep it kind of kind of close to my lash line because I don't want to make it too bold. This look is more so for those girls who are afraid to try shimmers and just want to like dive into it and see how it is for the first time. This is a great alternative because you're not playing it over your whole lid and doing a full dramatic look with shimmer and just doing something crazy that could end up bad for you. Girl, this is a nice alternative. And for the girls who love shimmer, try this look too. If you want to take it to the next level, just apply it all over your lid. These shadows are amazing, amazing, creamy, and super blendable as you can see here. Just blend, blend, blend. I'm taking some of that same shadow auto with a nice blending brush and just taking it through my crease to just deepen it up a little bit more and blend it all together here. Yes. So right here I'm just going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Corrector in the shade red and I'm going to use this red all over my face wherever I have my dark circles and any darkness to cancel that out. Nice tip, if you ever have any darkness, girl, get you some red color corrector and it will color those dark circles right up. Then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 360 Cocoa 
the darkest shades they have and you guys trust me this foundation is so bomb i love it so much not only is this super affordable you can find it in pretty much every drugstore anywhere it has amazing coverage and it also like it comes across a little bit orange as it like on camera and in person but when it oxidizes it blends into the skin perfectly it just matches me so well this foundation does me better than my last tender day okay i'm just kidding i'm totally kidding Where am I? Anyway, so I'm just blending this on down to my neck and my ears, which you always want to hit. Make sure you blend to that neck, girl. Then I'm going to take my Tarte, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This concealer is so bomb. I don't want to believe the hype, but I have to get my hands on it, and let me tell you. This concealer is so creamy and blends out amazing. Definitely one of my favorites, like my new favorites. I love it so much. Then I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I am using the shade medium beige to just highlight to add a little bit of brightness under my eye and I'm going to take my Real Technique blending sponge which is also super portable and I'm going to blend out that concealer nice and easy to so that make sure there's no harsh lines from the foundation the concealer the brightness and everything like that this this sponge is so nice so soft and fluffy but you always want to make sure you wet your sponge you better not go in with a dry sponge don't let me catch you with a dirty sponge or a dry sponge girl now as you see here, I'm going to go in my Morphe 350M palette, and surprise, surprise, I'm going to take that darkest brown shade and use that as what? Let's go. My contour. Since I'm so dark, I have to use like a eyeshadow basically for my contour, and this shade is so great because it is a nice cool tone brown with a great undertone, so it just blends out perfectly and creates a really nice shadow effect. And as you can see here, I'm just taking this random brush that I got off Amazon like a year ago and blending it all out, girl creating that look to make it like I haven't eaten in a month, okay? Sculpting the heck out of my cheeks. As you can see here, I'm just going in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder to put that right on the concealer to kind of set it in place, even though the Tarte Shape Tape sets on itself because it's so bomb. I'm mainly just using this powder to brighten up under my eye because I like the effect that it gives and it doesn't dry my under eyes out too much because I don't leave it on there too long. And I'm applying that with my Real Techniques blending sponge, which is in my opinion, a little bit better than the beauty blender and it's affordable girl save them coins don't be buying that $20 beauty blender we can go get you one from Ulta real technique seven dollars for a two pack hello then as you can see here I'm gonna go in with that shade Ada again and a pencil brush another random brush that I got like a year ago and I'm gonna go in under my lower lash line and it's gonna blend that color out and smoke it out a little bit connecting it to the top just bringing everything together this literally ties the entire eye look together. As you can see here, it just brings in the sexiness effect, all of that, and just so bomb. Never forget your lower lash line. Never, girl. Then here, I'm just gonna dust away all of that powder. One thing that I love to do is take a nice eyeshadow brush that has a little bit of residue from my brown shadow and blend out my nose contour to just create that nice perfect snatch. Then I'm going into my Carly Bible palette which has been used very heavily because it's so bomb and so cheap. I personally like to go in with those two mauve purple shades and use that as my blush and just kind of apply it down because I like to blend it out later when I apply my highlight as well. Which the highlight that I'll be using are the two darkest colors from the Carly Bible palette the gold and the bronze shade, which looks amazing on deeper skin tones. Just apply that right to my cheek and the high points of my face. Like there, my, above my brows, and of course I gotta snatch that nose and get my tin man on. My nose highlight walks into the room before I do. Hello, how about that glow? One thing I like to do is create an escalation point with my nose highlight and just draw a line down, leave a space, and then just draw a little circle right on the tip of my nose to create that little cute button nose that we all love and like to see. Then as you can see here, I'm just gonna take my big fluffy blending brush and just gonna blend all that together so it's nice and seamless, no harsh lines. As you can see, I'm gonna take my bomb lashes that I got from Lena Lashes and the style Naomi. Walk Naomi Campbell, walk Naomi Campbell. These lashes are so bomb. Yep, guys, the easiest way to apply lashes is literally put the mirror right down by your chin and just look down and put them bad boys right on top. Look at these lashes. These lashes are literally my favorite. It's not Red Bull that gives you wings. It's these lashes. Quote me on that. How about that? 
<laughs> so I'm just gonna take my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm gonna use that to blend my real lashes with my false lashes. Cause you don't want that line of demarcation of people be able to tell that your lashes is sticking out. Girl, that's not cute. Then I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Telescope Mascara, which has a very thin wand, which I love because I like to put that on my lower lash line because it separates those bad boys like nobody's business, girl. Love it. As you can see right here, I'm just highlighting my cubist bow with some of the highlights from my Carly Bible palette. I love to do this step because it just creates like a nice sexy effect and draws attention to your lips. And here I'm taking my NYX lingerie lipstick in the shade Beauty Mark. I love this. It's so creamy and so soft and long wearing. NYX has some of the best lip products and they're so cheap. Girl, you better get on it. As you can see here, I'm taking the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline and applying it right to the, little, the middle of my lip to just give it an extra pow and shine, girl. Yes. Then I'm gonna go in and set everything with my Mario Badescu setting spray. This setting spray is so bomb and it's super affordable. I love it so much. After I set this with the spray and drench my face, I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder to just smooth everything out. I told y'all this powder was bomb AF and could be used for pretty much everything. Get your hands on it, girl. And after I'm just gonna dust that away for a flawless finish. Everything is going to be listed down below in the description box. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Hit me up on all my social medias and in, in, in the comment section down below. I hope you like this video. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you for stopping by, loves. Much love to you. See you in my next upload. Throw some D's on it. Just put a gun. Mm, awkward. And love yourself. Like Justin Bieber said. Okay, but anyway, so, you know. Okay, that's super ratchet. Let me stop. Hey, yo, Miley, what's good? Oh, fuck. <laughs>